Ideas. Uh, I'm also now with Paxis LLC. C Ideas is a service bureau. We've been around for about 20 years, and we decided to develop an online quoting engine. So I hired a programmer full time. He came in and developed an extremely beautiful quote engine that's uh, able to look at all the different processes. It was so nicely done that we decided to commercialize it. And in the process of creating the dashboard back end of this true quote software, he uh, called me into the office and it was in regards to a problem that we've been having with trap volume parts within the SL and SLA process as well as polyjet and DLP based processes. And he says, Mike, you know, I've been really kind of thinking about this and Fred, Fred came to me and said, Mike, I'd really like to share with you an idea I think that might solve the problem for, for, uh, for trap volume parts within the SL. And I said, okay. So he described it to me and about 10 seconds into it I said, all right, stop, that's it. We're starting a new company. We're developing this. Here's my credit card. Buy whatever it takes. So uh, over the course of about two year period, he, we together we helped develop this machine. And what we believe is that this is going to answer a lot of the problems that are currently existing within fat based polymerized systems as well as jetted systems. And one of the unique features and attributes to it is. Based on the way that we deploy the resins, we think that resins that haven't been able to be used in current systems can now be redesigned, re-engineered, and utilized in this system. Based on the scalability of this process, we are capable of building much larger parts much faster than any other current system on the market. Yeah, we've had some very interested parties. Uh, you know, one thing to be you know, sure about mentioning is that we're doing a technology announcement uh, and a company announcement. Uh, we're not doing a product launch date or anything like that at this time. Uh, you can go to Paxis.com in order to sign up for updates. Yes. Uh, but what our interest at this point is, is we've been able to fund and bring this product, product as far along as we have, including uh, four rounds of patents, trademarks, obviously marketing, website, and the product itself, uh, our Gen 1 and our Gen 2 product. And what we're doing is we're now hitting that roadblock in which we're starting to seek funding from material development companies, from OEM, OEM companies that want exclusive rights to it for a period of time, as well as technology grants. So this is the perfect venue for us to be able to announce our technology it is going to raise awareness for our company, uh, but one of the unique features about being at Rapid, which I've been coming to since 2006, is that the the amount of, of valuable resources within this community is allowing us to be able to go around and reach out to these companies that might have interest in this product. We've been very, very selective on who we bring in. In fact, that's one of the features about this is the industry experts that are in within this organization as well as AMUG. <laughs> We've hand selected about 10 or 12, what I consider to be the best of the best of the industry to come out under NDA and actually see the product run. Everybody has been blown completely away. Uh, I think that what the first thought that comes to their head is, oh my gosh, how does someone else not come up with this already? Um, because it is a fairly simple and concept process, uh, but that also opens the doors to being very expandable and scalable. One of the things about being an end user is, we were, I was able to identify immediately the, the, the gravity of the invention that Fred had come to me with. Uh, I think that the, the concept behind it would have, was simple enough where I think a lot of people would have glossed over it. And we as an end user have been interviewed by multiple manufacturers time and time again to explain to them what we want in a system. What, what would you guys like to see in our system? Faster, greater, better, cheaper? Uh, and it seems as though the amount of information that we give to these manufacturers trickle down to incremental upgrades. And they tend to be kind of trapped in their own box. When this was described to me as an end user, I was able to immediately see the limitations that were lifted from traditional thinking within 3D printing and the systems that are created today. I think one of the core benefits of this product is going to be the, the reinvention of how investment castings are done. Uh, we are going to be able to reduce the amount of labor and we're going to be able to create much larger investment casting masters. Also, we're not going to be limited to clear resins and as a result of that, they can be re-engineered specifically to the burnout that they want. Ceramics, hybrid, and custom materials are going to be completely rethought. And because the machine is expandable and scalable, we'll be able to do a lot of parts at one time at very quick speeds.